welcome to the Wood Factor. I'm Paul Wooders, and it is time for a loot crate like you have not seen. It is the J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World crate, which is hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep, it's a loot crate. Crate, and oh, check this out. This okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, right this way. There's a our box there. <laughs> that's that's the that's actually the seal. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So this is the first one ever of this particular box. If you want to see what's going on with Loot Crate and all their various boxes, there is a link in the description. Check it out. It's a referral link. And if you want to sign up, you can use my link and you get a discount and I get a discount. So everybody wins, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But it'd be cool if you did. All right. So being the first one, there is no previous item, so there's nothing to bring up from the previous one that doesn't exist. So. I think that's everything. Probably. That I can think of just now. Anyway, so here we go. Right into it. Let's set this over here. It's a pretty good sized box. Nice little uh, almost square box there. Bigger than normal. About the size of the first uh, loot gaming box, I think. So let's check it out. Alohamara. There you go. <laughs> I don't have a wand. I should have a wand. That's a... Oh, and just, oh, I peeked, but I didn't really see what it was. Just so you know, I picked the shirt out this morning before I knew this was coming. Seriously. I actually did this once before. It was in the, uh, what do you call it, in my last treasure hunt box, which I happened to be wearing a shirt that originally came in that box. I purely by accident, didn't know it was coming. But here we go. All right, so t-shirt right on top as per usual. So let's, I, I saw a glimpse of it, but I didn't really see what it was. Kind of, yeah, it's what I thought of it, like a uh, the Daily Prophet front page thing. Let's, let's see what it is. All right. Well, if I can get it straightened out, here we go. The New, oh, the New York Ghosts. Okay, this could be... Uh, Okay, it's, it says Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, so this this is probably fan, from Fantastic Beasts, I'm thinking. Magical, dist I can't read this backwards. <laughs> Magical disturbances risk wizarding exposure. International Conf Confederation of Wizards called for emergency meetings, and uh, et cetera and so forth. Very nice. Okay, let me, let me move this up a little slow so you can take a look at it here. That is pretty sharp, I gotta tell you. Right. Oh, and uh, check this out. One of my favorite things. It is tagless. Nice. So, me like. I like it already. Oh, I was going to mention, I forgot to do that, that, uh, well, now I've covered it. <laughs> I haven't really added to my uh, Harry Potter shelf in quite a while. Just a little bit here and there, but I've got this one, this one, and just a couple of items down on this third shelf down here. I expect that to expand pretty rapidly, which means I need to get busy putting more shelves over here. I've been rather slack on that. I do have the wood cut for about three shelves, not not the case, but the, the like these shelves down here, and uh, I just need to get off my behind and get that done. So anyway, back to back to what we're doing here. Okay, something squishy, a plush, picking a plush. Ooh, okay, we got it all. All right, nice. Okay, let me get him out of here. It do doesn't look like Hedwig. You see, it isn't quite white enough. It uh, doesn't open. Okay. Well, let's, uh, here. Nice little squishy. Oh, oh get back here. A little squishy owl. A little better? Something like that. Anyway. Oh, it's pigwidgeon. Okay. All right. We got pigwidgeon here. <laughs> I didn't think he was white enough for, uh, I mean, for a snowy owl, you know. Okay. We got a big box here. Which I don't think is a pop, but it could be. It's got that uh, cardboard with the, the, the plastic uh, see-through thing, but I'm going to say that one to last. Here's the pin. 
We'll save that to the last two. I'm going to set that right there. I'm going to forget about it, so I'll as well get used to that. Whoa, there's something, a lot of metal. Loose metal pieces and all sorts of stuff here. Let's see. Uh, Keychains. Looks like a bunch of them because, oh my. Okay, hold on. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Okay, don't know what this is, but we have a owl in flight here. Ah, come on. Get up here, you. There we go. And then we have this, oh, a, a letter. A Hogwarts letter. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Harry Potter. Very nice. Nice, nice head and heavy. I'm, I don't know what this is. It's like a little leather brush kind of a thing. But it is a it is a keychain or a hanger. No, here well here's a keychain right here. This is like a belt loop or belt hook right here. But uh, Harry Potter, great exclusive. Very nice. I got little hooks like cup hooks I can hang this up on. So like it, like it. Over there. Okay. Well, I hope that's a pop. I really want that to be a pop. We got a book. We got a book. Ooh, could be Tom Riddle's diary, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Well, let me, let me pop this open. Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll let you see here as soon as I get it done. Done here. Ah, come on. It's, uh, it's like a faux leather. Ooh, gold uh, edging. Here's the on the front. Now, this could be from Fantastic Beasts because I kind of really don't recognize it. Now, if you've seen the movie, I haven't. So. You, you might you might know what this is so but their content card I'm pretty sure is going to tell us okay yeah it's just blank pages suitable for uh, uh oh wait a minute I just saw something okay this is all all blank but there's something back here what do we have here I don't want to crack the spine oh just the, it's the United States so I'm thinking it is from Fantastic Beasts United States map there so nice all right, I'll set that over there. I think that's everything except for the big box, which it almost feels like a pop, but I don't, really don't think so. But it is, a, I'm sure it's a figure. It is a pop. Oh, sweet. Okay. So we got uh, Albus Dumbledore, and this is, let's see. And this is the uh, Richard Harris Dumbledore. There is two, and I've already got this one. Yeah, sure enough. There, there is a Michael Gambon. Uh, Dumbledore and a Richard Harris. I'm a Richard Harris fan. I guess because it started that way and then they suddenly changed it. I mean, well, they changed obviously why, but the, the Michael Gamma's character is just so much different from the original. And, but I like this one better just because that's how it started. So, but uh, very nice, very nice, very good shape. Turns out in very good shape. So, there he is. Albus Dumbledore. 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 And I think that is everything. That is all of it. And here's what it looks like inside. I want to be a wizard. We didn't get a wand. I want a wand. I got it. Okay, so going back to this right here. Okay, I flashed this up for a second and I took it away because it had spoilers on it. So I, so I, I, that's why you saw it edited. edited, edited. But uh, okay, this much magic. <laughs> this month's magical loot. <laughs> Say that fast three times. Well, it looks like there's different figures you could have gotten. Okay, well, here's, uh, here's the T-shirt, Fantastic Beats T-shirt, as I said. And then uh, Pigwidgeon plush. All right. And then I think this is all the characters you could have gotten. Okay, some of these are from Fantastic Beasts, and I don't recognize this one. Dumbledore would be in the uh, Fantastic Beasts, because timeline-wise, because he's... Older than dirt. <laughs> okay, well, let me see what it says. Let me see what it says. Uh, pop figure assortment. Which pop? Fantastic pop. Did you receive Newt's Commander, Tina Goldstein, the Niffler? Okay, there we go. Uh, Albus Dun Dumbledore or Jacob Jowalski. Okay, so but that uh, Dumbledore one is from the Harry Potter, not from the Fantastic Beasts. But it is all Harry Potter world, so. And what's this? Oh, the, oh, the pen. I forgot the pen. I forgot the pen. I forgot the pen. Okay, so we got this. Hang on. There we go. That's better. 
And that is, uh, they just said, I just saw it right here. It's, uh, well, I can't find it. Here we go, a bow truckle pen. That's what it is, okay. Peaceful and shy, the twig-like bow truckle picket spends its time in Nuke's commander's pocket. Now it can attach to yours. Okay, so you just, pocket thing. Right. And, okay, here's that, um, this. Oh, you can see everything here. Okay, this is Hedwig letter keychain. Hedwig slash. Welcome to oh, welcome Hedwig to your keychain as Harry Potter's feathered companion travels along with you on this planet craft accessory. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna mispronounce this. M A C U S A Macusa notebook. Keep track of magical moments with your very, very own magical. Congress of the United States of America notebook. Okay, so I'm assuming that's from the Fantastic Beast movie because it's not a Harry Potter thing from the Harry Potter movies. All right, so that is everything. Very nice. I like it already. Started with a pop. One I already had. Wish I could have got a nipper. That would that would have been cool. Oh well, but but it's all good. All right. So that is everything. Favorite item. Okay, the owl. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but for Pigwidgeon, I think it should have been a little smaller, but oh well, anyway. But now I think, the, I like the, uh, like the keychain. That's pretty cool. Well, it's very heavy. Little metal things going on, I think. It's probably just a tassel. A little, I don't know if it's probably faux leather tassel thing going on there. A little decorative things. Very nice. I like it. So that is everything. We're going to, like I say, I believe this is a bi-monthly box, so see you in a couple of months. We'll do this again. All right. I'm Paul Woodard. This is The Woot Factor. See you next time.